of things. But I saw the Madam Vice President in a rally. Blessings. Blessings to you guys. Blessings. God bless you all. Yes. We have something that we want to share with you guys. Yes, y'all. These pastors that are supporting Kamala Harris, y'all see them. Remember them and remember their names. Yeah. You remember the Lord showed me in the dream that any pastor that is supporting Kamala Harris and the Lord showed me that she would be in the the black churches. Yeah. And she already doing it. Yeah. And you remember the Lord told me in the dream that they are receiving money for her support. It's all fake. Yeah. It's about money. It's all about money. Y'all, I was so excited to hear a preacher standing up especially somebody like Clarence McClendon, Bishop Clarence McClendon. Let's watch it. Of things, but I saw the Madam Vice President in a rally where some people said Jesus is Lord, and she looked at them and said, "You're in the wrong rally." And they tried to sweep it. You, 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 they, they tried to sweep it under the rug like she wasn't addressing that. But there were two people. One had said that she was telling lies, and the other said Jesus is Lord, and she addressed them both. She said, "You all." Not one of you. Y'all are at the wrong rally. You don't believe me. They kept it out of the news. While on the other hand, the other candidate has people singing how great thou art in his rallies and still a bunch of pimp jack leg preachers who are in bed with the political elite are trying to tell their, their congregations to vote for someone who is against the Judeo-Christian ethic. That devil is a liar and God will determine who's who. You're looking at me like you didn't hear about it. That's why I brought the clip. Show it. Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with, with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. No, that wasn't what she was addressing. She was addressing someone who called her a lie. No, no, no. She was addressing them both. She heard someone call her a liar. She heard someone say, Jesus, Lord. And she says, you all are at the wrong rally. And then she says, you need to go to the smaller one down the street. Well, let me tell you something, my sister. You need to watch how you deal with God's people in this hour. Because just because you get elected, if you do, doesn't mean you'll last. God is still the God of heaven. And the God, that's not a threat. I'm a prophet. God will do certain things to silence the mouth of mockers so you sell your vote for welfare welfare programs stimulus packages housing promises even if the candidates are against your christian values and your judeo-christian ethic and then you have the nerve to stand in a pulpit and call yourself a child of god no you're not you're not a man of god you're a preaching pimp selling your people for the latest trick Don't worry, I don't want to come to your conference. I've already been. God wasn't there. I ain't coming again. I love, I love to hear stuff like this. Somebody who is ready to call the devil by their names. Jesus looked at their face and called them vipers. He saw who they are. When you see some people as they are, why are you trying to babysit that or make make it sound like you are not judging or you are you are uh, you are not a, a religious person? Call me a religious man. Why I'm rebuking sin? Right. Call me any names that you can call me. He's not gonna hurt me. He's mm -hmm. not gonna take anything away from mm -hmm. me. It will just show the world that I'm standing for the truth. For the truth. And for the Jesus truth. Christ who died on the cross. Because yeah. that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Especially when you're a Christian. I don't understand it, how you can say you're a believer of Christ Jesus and you are voting that way. I don't 
get it. It don't make sense. That means you're you need to repent. That's what you need to do because in, the enemy have tricked you. The enemy have tricked you. I'm so glad. You know, I hardly. I don't know when the last time I heard anything about Clarence McClendon. Uh, but the best thing to go viral about is when you stand enough for righteousness. Yes. And I love the righteous anger in him because I feel the same way. Yeah. I feel the exact same way. Like it is time to just tell it, to, to tell, to, to tell the truth for what it is. The news be lying and they mm. paint things the way they want. Now, if people can see the way they painted this whole thing, imagine the stuff that they have lied uh, uh, on Trump against, but people it's so hard for people to uh to understand that news media is uh they, they're all from the devil they're yeah. most of them are from the devil and they're gonna do the way of satan because satan has an agenda and they all have an agenda they all have an agenda and it's evil it's an evil agenda you know the lord he told me how evil kamala harris is i'm, I'm not ready to see it i need people to get on their p's and q's and know and have discernment on who they need to vote for and it's so crazy even if you don't have discernment the policies that she's okay with should what should uh you should feel something in your spirit and say this woman is not of god it's crazy like i don't even know how as a lot of people really want god to reveal who is who in this time yeah like to me any pastor that is really standing for this woman, that they all are ready for women to, to, to snatch up what is in their belly <laughs> and just to sacrifice that as a ritual because people don't even know all oh, this is all ritual, yeah. you know? And she's out there boasting about it. There's a lot of pastors that claims that they hate homosexualities, right? They claim that they're upset with some people, but this woman supports every one of all these, but you're still angry at Trump, but you are siding and standing for this woman. A lot of times I ask myself, what is really going on? Then I have to make up, I make up my mind like this, like I don't even need to ask questions like this because by their fruits, we shall know them. Yes, sometimes we don't see the fruit, but God is really showing who is who at this time. Who he is. And I, I, you know, like for him to say, it's all about uh, the checks, you know, the package, all this that they will benefit from this woman. Isn't it so crazy? You know, uh, I heard when he said that, and I was even saying that it ain't, it really, it could be that. Yes. But by the way, of the, the dream the Lord showed me is if she's giving them money, these pastors ain't worried about no community. It ain't no package. No, it ain't no package. No, package. package these, no, 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 no. Yeah, what he, what, what, what uh, Bishop Claren, Clarence McClendon is saying is tr what I, I know. He's telling the truth. That she probably done made promises to the black community that that, that you gonna have this and you gonna have that. And I'm gonna take care of the black community. I understand that because yeah, I bet what that's I'm what she's is, doing. No, what I'm saying uh, is personal gain, not even about community. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's not about no, okay. these pastors don't care about their community. If they care about their community, that means Christ is in them. It, come, give me some of that. That's the thing. If yes. these pastors care about communities, Christ is in them. Christ will be in them. It's all about what they are, they, what they are going to gain. It's that's selfish, all. Selfish, selfish stupid selfish. gain. Yeah. And that's why you see a lot of them that they are, they are ready to stand there or sit there and see children get murdered. Yeah. See children like get raped. Yeah. And they sit there mm -hmm. and take it in because mm -hmm. it's not it is not their children, it's not their family member. Even if it's their family member, all that matters is what you are going to give them in the in their bank account. If T D Jakes will fall under anointing. Because of one million? Ooh, Tyler Perry. Come on. Tyler Perry is not going to live that one down ever. Tyler Perry and T.D. Jakes will never live that one make down. That, <laughs> make that make sense. It was just For like, one million. He was like. <laughs> For one million, he oh. fell under anointing. Oh, so are bad. You, are you telling me, like, even if he's 200,000, this prophet, um, uh, so-called prophet and bishop, will sell their wife oh. just for 200,000? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. This is so, this is, it angers me 
when I see some things going on in the I mean, in this churches. I'm telling you, this Jamal one, Bryan just oh, uh, that man there. He's gone. He gone. He care about women so bad. He got two but, daughters, but did all this to his wife, but it, it, yeah. ex wife and all that. Yeah, and that, man, boy, bye, boy, bye. Just a mess. That whole thing a mess. Anything, it, it, uh, the, the man, all he do is talk about uh, his sorority, and he wears he wear those clothes too. Those uh, clothes, all of that, like he's representing something else. Like I don't know. I, what people see in Jamal Bryant, like the discernment, if you're going to J Jamal's Bryant church, you need to ask the Lord for discernment. How are they going to ask God for discernment? Only if you know who, they, babe, how are you going in there and talking about God? No, they're going in there talking about their, their men of God. You can't tell people that are going to uh, T.D. Jakes to seek God. Oh, it doesn't goodness. make sense. No, they already have their God. It, a lot a yeah, lot of people be wondering who are false prophets and who are not. Oh my goodness. The, the sure sign of a false prophet, if Kamala Harris is in that church, you should question your pastor. If your pastor invited Kamala Harris to speak or sit in, in, in the church that you're in or the, the pastor that y'all know, that's a sure sign. That pastor is not living right, or maybe like Jamal Bryan, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kamala cannot go to all these churches if your pastor is connected to people like this, Jamal Bryan, TD Jakes, or if there's any little connection, yeah. So you gotta look the yeah, fruit no. that connected to Jamal Bryan and know who this lady is, That's or like true. who your pastor is, because by their fruit, she is, is he a bishop? Who? Bishop Jamal, is he, is he a bishop? I don't even know what he, he, I don't even, that was a pimp in the church. I know, I like how he said, I, I see, that's why I haven't been seeing Clarence McClendon, because he said, I've been to, I've been around y'all, I know what's going on, and I'm. that's why I'm not a part of it. You know, he's, he kind of exposed some things, you know. These people are just demons in the altar. Yes. Demons. demons. I, I always love calling them demons in the altar. Yes. Very much so. Uh, keep exposing this people. God is with you when mm -hmm. you expose them. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.